Today's weather is sponsored by Expressway Car Wash Lube and Deli with two locations in Paducah, Kentucky. Good morning, everybody, and happy Labor Day. I hope you're having a great weekend. The weather has been amazing. We did have one or two little tiny showers pop up yesterday in the Penny Rowell area of western Kentucky, but we should see plenty of sunshine today, some increase in the heat, some increase in the humidity, uh, and that could lead to a couple of widely scattered showers and thunderstorms forming today is that warmer air that more moist air moves up from the Gulf of Mexico that I talked about yesterday did not think we would have to put rain into the forecast but it does appear at least a two in ten chance a two in ten chance at any given spot of a passing shower or thunderstorm especially later today at the heat of the day so I do think we'll see some on radar check radars from time to time we look at dew points this morning remember yesterday I told you here here they come they're coming up from Louisiana they're coming up from Mississippi they're coming up from Alabama and you can see here 70 dew points all the way now into central and northern Illinois all the way back to the Gulf of Mexico this is the air that feels more uncomfortable when you step outside this morning our nicer dew points these 60s are being pushed away as our winds turn more southerly today and that more warm and moist air moves northward now it is about let's see about 8 40 8 30 8 40 right now and we see temperatures morning temperatures are ready into the middle to upper 70s and maybe even some 80s in northwest tennessee that means we're going to rise today in the 88 to 94 degree range combine that with the dew points in your uh heat index values you're going to be above 95 above 96 degrees so keep that in mind today Okay, let's just take a look at Futurecast radar here. This is the HER model. It does fairly well as we move into the morning hours. You don't see much going on. And uh, we get into the afternoon and peak heating of the day. And we stop it here at about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And you see some widely scattered showers that pop up on radar. I cannot rule out a shower or thunderstorm today. Yesterday it looked like we would remain dry. But we did even have one or two little showers that formed over the Penny Rail area yesterday evening. And at the peak heating of today, one two three four o'clock we might see some of those cumulus clouds bubble up just enough to produce widely scattered showers and thunderstorms do not think this is going to ruin your day if a shower were to form near you it would be brief you can see here the radar is barely picking these up but they are there so perhaps we'll have a few widely scattered showers and storms today and then as we move through the evening hours we lose the heating of the day again and everything dissipates there's really not anything to lift the air here hardly there's no cold front no warm front no area of low pressure this is just simply because of the heat of the day the higher dew points and we're on that what we call the tongue of higher moisture moving up from the Gulf of Mexico that I talked about yesterday and sometimes when that happens you will get a couple of showers and thunderstorms develop we take a quick look at National Weather Service office radar out of Paducah, Kentucky and we do see even this morning at about it's about 835 840 a few showers and thunderstorms developing between Mount Vernon and Olney so we will have some activity today the heat of the day as those higher dew points move northward into our area replacing that drier air mass that we had over the last few days great air mass Thursday Friday Saturday are going to see the dew points rise more moisture moving up so some brief some brief showers and thunderstorms I gave it a 2 in 10 chance at any given location so a 2 in 10 chance at any given location for a passing shower or storm today I do not think it will ruin your day or your outdoor events but just keep it in mind if it starts to get dark you see a cloud coming maybe just check radar you might have to move indoors briefly but it should not last very long Okay, then let's wrap this up. Today's forecast, partly sunny sky conditions, hot and humid, a little more humid than yesterday. Heat index values will pop above 94, 95 degrees. Actual air temperatures, 86 to 94 today. We will have a 2 in 10 chance at any given location of a shower or thunderstorm. Passing shower or thunderstorm will not rain all day at any given spot, just a passing chance. Uh, winds today from the east southeast at about 4 to 8 miles per hour with gusts maybe 6 to 12 miles per hour out on the lake. We move into tonight maybe an evening shower or thunderstorm isolated and then mostly clear tonight. Warmer, a little more humid. Lows tonight mostly in the 70s with dew points in the 70s as well. So it will feel a little more muggy tonight than it has over recent nights. And like I said, our winds are becoming more southerly at about 2 to 4 miles per hour. Looking ahead to the week ahead, hot and humid Tuesday through Friday, highs 88 to 94 degrees, 
Dew points back into the 70s. Isolated shower and thunderstorm chances during that time period. Cold front comes in this weekend. Friday or Saturday, cold front comes in. A better chance of rain. Probably pop those rain chances up to 40 or 50%. I'll have to look at the new data on that. But cooler and drier behind that front again. This is another fall light cold front. And another cold front next week. Maybe, maybe this will be the last solid week of heat and humidity. We will see. Have a great Labor Day. I hope you have had a great holiday weekend.